Hello, this is Joel Overton, your online math instructor for calculus, and I wanted to demonstrate how to use the math editor when you take your quizzes or exams in Blackboard. So here's a sample question uh, that's actually very similar to a problem you're going to have in your first quiz, where you're asked to evaluate or simplify the given expression cosine of arcsine of x. Now, on a scratch piece of paper, you'll probably want to draw a right triangle to help you solve this problem. But then, when you're prepared to supply the answer, uh, the answer is, is going to involve an expression that's a little more complicated than just basic arithmetic operations. You're going to need more than just your keyboard and addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You're going to need exponents, and you're going to need square root symbols. So, in order to do that, what you're going to need to do is access the math editor in Blackboard. So you can see I'm hovering over this key right here that looks like an F with a little subscript X. If you go ahead and click that, a new dialog will open up. That's your math editor for Blackboard. And here you can use your keyboard to type in, you know, like uh, the problem, cosine, parentheses, sine. But once you get to that superscript, negative one, to signify arc sine, now you'll use the math editor features. So just on the default tab of functions that are available, I need a superscript negative one to write the arc sign. So using this button, which is superscript, notice if you hover, it gives you the little cheat text. I click on that and then type in negative one. Then to get out of the superscript feature, I just use my right arrow on the keyboard and it brings me back down so I can type in the X. So now I've typed in cosine of arc sine of X. And if I wanted to continue and show my work, well, I know that there's an angle in the right triangle whose sine gives me x over 1. So arc sine of x gives you that theta. So therefore, this is equal to cosine of theta. Now, I need to type in a theta, and then here's a tab for all the Greek letters. And if I click that, I have all these Greek letters. I find my theta, and then just continue typing my answer. So cosine of theta is going to equal the adjacent over hypotenuse side, which if you've drawn your right triangle, you know that that's going to be a fraction. So here, back on the original first general tab, I can click this button. That's the fraction. And now I can type in, oh, the adjacent side I know is 1 minus x. And I'm going to use that superscript feature again to get the squared. And then I can just use my mouse button here to click on the denominator. And the den and, you know, denominator, the hypotenuse for that triangle is 1. And then one more, I simplify that fraction expression because any fraction over 1 is just that numerator. So equals square root of 1 minus x, and once again, squared. And then once you're done typing in your work and your answer, you click accept. And notice that will fill now this box here with your answer and make sure you save your answer if it doesn't automatically save already and then when you're ready progress through the rest of the quiz and that's the math editor feature notice I can click on my answer and it highlights it like a picture and if I click the math editor again it will open it back up with all of your work already pre-filled in so you can edit it if you want and then when you're done you can click cancel or save your work by clicking accept 